Republic of San Marino is a small state inside Italy, yet is renowned for its banking sector. With me now to speak about the potential for international investors is Professor Massimo Merlino and Daniele Guidi from Banca CIS. Well, Massimo, if I might start with you, San Marino, what's its economic potential globally? San Marino is a sovereign state having its own autonomy from uh, three centuries after Christus dead, so it's a unbelievable long uh, story of the Republic. It's very, very integrated uh, with the world. It's a lot of relationship with uh, about more than 100 countries around in the world. So it's commercially and financially also integrated, we must say. Of course, we can do more. The potential of the small states in the globalization is very high, as you know, because all the small states are leading the globalization. Also, so, also San Marino can offer to the world a lot of its own competencies and a lot of its own experiences. Normally, we are not so known like a very old financial platform in Asia or in Europe. But we can, uh, of course, uh, have a very similar role in the future. Well, can you tell me about the region's financial system from an international perspective? All the microstates in Europe are moving to uh, more integrating uh, agreements with Europe, with the United States, uh, with the international markets. And San Marino has proven to, to do very, very accurately all these steps of integration internationally and agreement to be signed with the United States, with Europe. And so uh, now is ready to be completely open to the world. And the recent uh, fiscal agreement with Italy has at least uh, has finished a long uh, discussion with the Italian government. Uh, San Marino is on white list uh, on all uh, OECD, OECD uh, organization countries, but it was not with Italy. So now everything has been uh, solved and San Marino is ready to go on the world. Of course, we have a lot of uh, things to learn, a lot of things to learn in techniques, uh, in competencies, a lot of uh, new resources, human resources, to be uh, educated uh, to international financing. And how is Banca CIS positioned in the region? Now is a bank of about 8,000 clients, about 90 employees in the banks and collecting a total asset of 1 billion euro. So it's a medium bank, I must say, and uh, of course very, very active in retail, but also in private, because it's a result of a fusion of previous institutes uh, operating in San Marino. In the private, uh, we have a long experience from one of these institutions uh, which were connect connected all together in this bank chase. And our private experience is uh, particularly strong because we have a financial company, which name is Scudo Investimenti. This company is managing 15 funds of San Marinese law. And these funds have a lot of advantage for the, from the fiscal point of view because of San Marinese law and regulation. And we can also, through Scudo, engineer new products, new funds, for also other banks, uh, according to their specifications. Well, Daniel, over to you now. And how is the banking system in San Marino structured? In the past, there were 12 banks and about 14 billion of euro managed by our financial system. But crisis uh, that uh, is beginning in 2008 uh, and also the fiscal amnesty in Italy have reduced the potentiality for about 50% of deposits. Now are, we are only seven banks uh, after a process of consolidation and major acquisition. The system is uh, in this moment uh, strong. Uh, also the Central Bank of San Marino in annual report recently have uh, certified the potentiality of the system and just to give an idea, the, the supervisory regulation required for our bank uh, a minimum level of uh, solvency ratio of 11%. So all system is more than 11%. Just 
to make a comparison with Europe, uh, Europe is a 6, 7 or 8 percent. Well, what opportunities do you see for foreign banks and firms in San Marino? We know very well that San Marino is not knowledge in this moment that has a financial opportunity uh, for foreign investors. But uh, there are a lot of opportunity. Uh, in the last two years, our government uh, have improved a lot of law for uh, a residential and fiscal opportunity for foreign investors in San Marino. Just to give you another idea, uh, San Marino is involved as um, other small state, uh, European small state, uh, in uh, an agreement uh, with the European Union for association, customer association, and also uh, capital exchange of capital and person in, uh, inside Europe. So uh, when this, this project will be handed, uh, maybe there is be, should be the possibility to invest uh, through our country directly in Europe and also using our double taxation agreement network to have fiscal advantages for investment in Europe. Well, finally, what's Banker CIS's strategy for future growth? To offer for our local customers a number of products and services under ag technology, mobile phone and mobile opportunity. Secondly, uh, is a, with the opportunity uh, reserved with this uh, agreement with the European Union, uh, we would like to develop a corporate finance because uh, corporate finance should be very interesting for this kind of investment. Thirdly, our know-how is also very well important in private banking and uh, wealth management and as a family office. We are open new branches outside Italy, outside Europe in this sector, so we would like to develop uh, private banking and uh, wealth management opportunity in the Europe. Daniele, Massimo, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.